Hello everyone, welcome back to the English class. Today we have he was wearing weird clothes and po uh, post continues in grammar. First we're going to listen to the conversation between Karen and Jody and you've got uh, four gaps that you're going to use the, the phrases have a look, honestly, I uh, expect and you're winding me up. Use these phrases to put uh, to the gaps from the first to the fourth one, each one to the right one. Let's listen to the uh, conversation. I saw Tom yesterday. He had long hair and he was wearing weird clothes. You're winding me up. Honestly, he was standing opposite his school and he was talking to a man in the street. Are you sure it was Tom? Yes, definitely. I was on the bus and I saw him clearly. The bus wasn't going very fast and I took a photo of him. Have a look. Yes, that's Tom. What was he doing in strange clothes on a Thursday afternoon outside his school? I think I know. Their school show is tomorrow and he's playing a 1970s rock star. I expect he was trying to sell tickets. Were people buying tickets? No, they weren't. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Okay, so what do you think? Which one goes to the first one? Which one to the second, to the third, and to the fourth? Okay, you're winning me up. It's to the first gap, to the second, honestly, uh, to the third, have a look, and the last one, I expect. Let's continue with another conversation. Let's listen uh, to this uh, one, and you should focus on the verbs that you hear. Where did you last see your dog, sir? I was walking with him in the park last night. What time was this, sir? About eight o'clock, I think. There were a lot of other dogs playing in the park, too. Was he fighting with these dogs, sir? Rover, fighting? No, he was running around in the trees while I was talking to a lady with a dog. When I looked again, Rover was gone. Was the lady wearing glasses, sir? Yes, she was. Why? Hello. I've got something of yours, I think. <coughs> Rover! So you've heard that most of these sentences were in post continues. Some of them in post and some of them in post uh, continues. So we'll continue with post continues tense. Uh, post continues is used for something which happened before and after another action. We're talking about the post. So for example, I was washing the dishes when the phone rung. So the process that you were uh, washing the dishes, and then the phone rung. Uh, also, post continues is used to show that something continued for some time, everyone was listening, and is used for actions that happened again and again. For example, she was exercising every day. The structure of uh, a post continue sentence is subject plus uh, the post of the verbs to be, and the main verb in ing. He was wearing weird clothes, as we have the title uh, of these, this lesson. Uh, let's go to sentences in affirmative form, negative, and questions with the short answers. In affirmative form, we've got the sentences, he was wearing weird clothes. So we've got the auxiliary was and the uh, main verb wear, which ends in ing. Or for plural, they were standing in the street. For negative uh, sentences, we add not. So the bus wasn't going fast. They weren't wearing weird clothes. And the questions, for questions, we uh, switch places of the subject with the auxiliary verb. Was he wearing a hat? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. And were they wearing weird clothes? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. 
Now let's do some exercises. Let's look at the picture and use the uh, prompts that we have from the first to the fifth one and write sentences or questions. Uh, let's start with the first one is Leza and watched TV. Was Leza watching TV? No, she wasn't. She was listening to music. The second, dad, cook, dinner. Was dad cooking dinner? No, he wasn't. He was watching TV. The third one, mom, work on the computer. Was mom working on the computer? No, she wasn't. She was talking on her mobile. The fourth one, Peter, do his homework. Was Peter doing his homework? No, he wasn't. He was playing the or his guitar. And the last one, Grandma play drums. Was Grandma playing the drums? No, she wasn't. She was sleeping. And as homework, you're going to work on your workbook, page 14, exercises 1, 2 and 3. This is all about uh, post continues. See you in the next class.